What is up, Team Razor? It's Cozy here with yet another amazing, beautiful, sexy, five-star Team Razor gameplay commentary for your faces to feast upon. Today's gameplay is actually a bit more unique than usual. While Razor is always bringing the best and the neatest and the most unique gameplays, today we have a 93 gun streak on the good old Black Ops 2 on the map carrier using the golden plated beautiful Razor branded AN94 by Razor Spain. And this is not the old Razor Spain, by the way, just letting you guys know. This is a brand spanking new Razor Spain, everyone. Links for the player and Razor Spain will be in the description for you to bless with your cursor. And uh, let's get down today's video. All right, so today's video is actually a bit of an awkward slash hilarious episode of my series that I personally have on my own channel and on this channel somewhat. Cool story, bro. A series where I just tell you guys a story from my life. Hopefully it can be relatable, and if not, you guys can just be weirded out by it. Alright, today's story is titled, The Fedora, The DS, and The Slutty Canadian. And, uh, yeah, I know, it's kind of weird. Kind of a weird title. You'll find out once you hear the story. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so today's story starts with me getting invited to go on a cruise, blah blah blah. You guys don't want to hear about all that personal shit. I got invited to go on a cruise my friend Matt. And we went on the cruise, and if you guys have never been on a carnival cruise, they are fucking amazing. They are, pro it's probably the one of the best things I've ever done in my life, one of the best decisions I ever made. And, you know, I went on this cruise, and if you guys don't know, like, the sort of characters you meet on these cruises, you usually meet people like swag, overdosed people. You meet people, like, a lot of girls tend to go, like, slutty and go around with other guys and stuff. And guys, like, people tend to hook up. And, you know, everyone sort of develops, like, their little clique among the people. And we actually had our own clique, me and Matt. And we found our own clique. The clique consisted of a kind of an awkward kid with a fedora. Another awkward kid. That, he was kind of a nice guy. A, re a, re a little bit of an awkward kid. The kid was kind of annoying. And a slutty Canadian girl and her friends. So we kind of all had our clique. We were hanging out around the cruise. And let me tell you how I meet the guy with the fedora. Me and Matt are sitting down eating our food, having um, dinner, I guess. And this guy with the fedora walks over. He's like, mind if I sit down? And I'm like, at first, I'm like, all right, yeah, you can sit down. But Stanby, or, well, Matt, Matt, I call him Stanby sometimes. Stanby was like, yeah, I mind if you sit down. Because, I don't know, he's not really good with people. I don't know. I'm, I just, I tend to be really nice. And Stanby's not afraid to say what the fuck's on his mind. So he said he didn't want the kid to sit down. Cause like we were just not in the mood to meet new people. It was kind of like the first night on the ship. So we really had like, you know, no wantings, wantings, is that even a word? We had no intentions to make that many friends yet. And the guy just didn't seem like somebody Stanby wanted to be friends with, but the guy sat down anyway. He's like, okay, thanks. And you know, we started eating our food, whatever. He just all of a sudden suggested like, y'all got any gals back home? Like, okay, I, I get it. You're kind of curious that if we had girls back home. But um, first of all, look at us. No, we don't. And second of all, why are you asking this to two people you just met? That's kind of an awkward... Like, that's not small talk. That's more, that's more like, gonna fuck any bitches? Like, that's basically what he asked us. I don't, I don't understand his logic. But it's later on in the night, and we're, oh, we're like up by the front of the ship, I suppose, on like a deck, and it's outside. So he keeps, like, grabbing this Canadian girl that we met. He kept, like, lifting her up. And, like, the whole, like, our whole clique, except for, like, me and Stanby, really, were, like, in a competition to get this girl. So everyone was trying to get with this girl. Everyone was trying to, I guess, get their dick sucked or something. I don't know. Everyone was trying to get with the slutty Canadian girl. And she was kind of going around the first night, you know, dabbling around, seeing who she wanted to go with. And the guy with the fedora, the really, really awkward kid, he, he was winning. He was somehow winning this competition he was like grabbing her and lifting her and she's like yeah you know whatever like you know she didn't give a shit she didn't really think much of it he was like grabbing her lifting her you know whatever and it kind of escalated to her like putting her legs around him and him getting like a boner like she basically put her legs around his dick and like gave him like a leg job but through his pants i don't know this is really awkward we're just sitting there like what the fuck are you doing get a room or something and this is really funny. The kid has a DS in his pocket, but he's, like, sitting there with a boner, and he stands up, and Stanby says the funniest thing ever. He's like, your DS is showing, and, like, I don't know if that's a funny statement, but that made everyone laugh so goddamn much. Like, 
the kid just got so embarrassed because like first of all it's like hey you got a ds and i got nothing wrong with people who have ds's it just kind of added to his character like his awkward character and the kid had a boner from a girl putting her legs on him so it's kind of awkward so then she went around asking everyone so at that point like you know the the uh, fedora kid was defeated. He was basically out of the click, and uh, she was going around asking everyone for massages, and everyone went around giving her a massage. Everyone, me, Matt, everyone that was in the click, and apparently she ranked the massages and said my massage was the best. I don't know if she wanted to like get with me. I don't. I don't know. And she wanted me to be next, to, like put her legs around me. I don't know. Like, I, I. It was weird. I was not feeling it. I just didn't feel morally right. I'm just like. As much as I want to fuck you, and as much as I want you to do shit with me, it just didn't feel right. Like, I didn't want a fucking leg job from this girl, like a random girl that you're giving a massage with. Maybe I should have executed, but um, I decided not to. I don't know why. I'm stupid. You, know, you can call me stupid in the comment section. She was actually a beautiful girl. It's just I didn't really feel like doing anything. It was just too much, like, um, too much effort for me, I guess. I don't know. So, she moved on to the next guy, and, you know, Stanby kind of brushed her off. Cause she was a little bit weird, I guess. I don't know. Stanby tends to be more like secluded to himself and she went over to this other kid and started hooking up with him and it's like it's like two days that goes by and you know rumor goes around that her and this kid were, like hooking up you know they were like kissing making out and whatever and it turned out to escalate to her giving him a hand job on the boat like not even like in their room literally on like the top floor or something on, like the top deck of the ship where like it's all windy and shit apparently he got a hand job up there and it got really like big tmi she was going around saying his dick size which was seven inches apparently you know like i was i guess he was hung i don't know but it's just weird like i've never experienced somebody like this slutty i've never experienced like a scene where this is normal and she was just all cool with it. she's like yeah i've sucked a dick or two in my life she's like she's just weird she just basically shared her stories of like she was sucking her stepdad or not stepdad at all that's weird her stepbrother's dick or her step cousin or something it was really weird all i know is that that was pretty awkward so we defeated a kid with a fedora stanby successfully knocked him out of the click um his ds was indeed showing and a slutty canadian went around trying to get with every guy and i guess i should have executed because that would have been pretty nice would have brought back some even better stories but i decided not to because i'm stupid Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this story, and if you did, please leave a like rating. If you enjoyed the gameplay, double-click that like rating. Actually, no, click it three times so that it doesn't cancel the like, so that you liked it twice. And I, I don't know. Hit subscribe if you haven't already to Team Razor and YouTube.com slash Cozy's Commentator. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. Leave a comment in the comment section below to have a conversation with me, and I will see you guys next time. Stay cozy. And if you ever get a chance to fucking Canadian, do it. <laughs> The shadows from the back Try to fight the devil off the back Without a quote before you stand Then you realize what we had Echoes in my voice will take you home Then we'll watch the sunlight Turn it to gold so give me, so give me time Cause you kill me
I feel Feels like I've been waiting a million years Lost through the storm and battled flames Finally found you in my darkest place Two phantoms in the night, together alone One to watch moonlight, put on a show Never wanna let you go, oh, oh. Wanna let you go Time to stay, don't fight it anymore So get 